Well, my name is Daniel Edward Avila. I am Filipino, Hawaiian, and Mexican. I'm 26 years old. I would say Clovis Community College was very uh, helpful in every, every aspect of my educational goals in terms of the small class sizes, um, the professors for sure, just overall staff and faculty, everyone was very helpful. I felt important, not just like a number maybe. I always felt like everything was very accessible, nothing was too far to reach for me. So I felt that was helpful in terms of me reaching out for help. I feel like I've always kind of known about HBCUs to be honest. And it's weird to me that how it's not known to people but I've always known it, maybe just because of sports. I had teammates that got recruited, and I have friends and families that attended HBCUs, and they're obviously they're in, they're in movies. You know, it's not just Hollywood magic, you know? So it's, I have to say, probably since like I was in junior high, since you start talking about higher education, once you're out of elementary school. So um, out of all the universities I was trying to apply to, and the ones I did apply to, I felt like all the HBCUs were the ones kind of fighting for me to actually attend there. You know, they wanted me to go there. Everyone was uh, easily accessible. I had quick responses. Everyone was very easy to communicate with. You know, I wasn't just another number in line trying to trying to get somewhere. I just, I felt like even when I would call like the students that worked at the school, like I, they were extremely helpful. Like I'm not even helping my own job. <laughs> and the people just extremely helpful. So it was just, like it, was, it made it seem like not only would it be nice to even just go to school here, it would be nice just to even be a person over there. And so that was very attractive to me. Oh, I'm going to attend Texas Southern University. I'm also in the honors program here at Clovis Community College. I believe it's called the Leon S. Peters Honors Program. And the one I'm attending is going to be the Thomas F. Freeman's Honors College. And I just needed a way to pay for school. I mean, I wasn't going to be in sports. And I knew Fenace may not cover all my expenses. And I knew there would be other avenues I could take to help pursue my education. And I knew I had to make myself valuable and important somehow. And I knew I had the grades for it and I had the ac academic uh, grit to become an honor student. And so I became the honor student here at Clovis Community College. And I had every intention of transferring into an honors program anywhere. It didn't matter, it didn't have to be HBCU, but um, the one I went to with Texas Southern, they actually offered me a scholarship. Um, they offered in-state tuition to an out-of-state student, you know, and someone from California is just kind of just stay in California sometimes. And then also being from California, most people haven't heard of an HBCU, let alone go out of state, just across the country to go to HBCU. But like I wanted to go to Tennessee State, that was kind of like a big one I was excited for, but the numbers just weren't working out for me. Texas Southern was willing to give me that in-state tuition and they gave me the scholarship on top of that and just the numbers just worked out better that way. And just I just want to go wherever I feel valued and important that and someone that's going to make me feel like I can do whatever I, I can want to do. So I appreciate the whole staff at Clovis Community College, the honor, Leon S. Peters Honors Program. I wouldn't be here without Clovis Community College, without Athena, Sasha Fisher, Tasha Hutchins. Like, man, it took a lot of people for me to get here and just, it's just wild to really be here to see everything kind of come together. Mm -hmm.